So then guys, what I've got here is the M4 Mac Mini and I've also got the M4 Pro Mac Mini. Now the baseline M4 Mac Mini, I absolutely love it. I think this is incredible and I made some videos on my channel about it, but you may have noticed I've not really made too many videos about the M4 Pro version. And there's a big reason behind that and that is I'm not the biggest fan of this device and there's a big reason why I don't like it and personally, I think there's a bit of a problem with Apple with selling this Mac Mini. Now, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the form factor, like I said, of the Mac Mini and what it stands for and how it's changed now. I think this is brilliant. And also, I love the power of the M4 Pro. I'm not gonna say the M4 Pro is terrible because compared to the M3 Pro, it is miles ahead, as you can see here in these kind of benchmarks that we've got right here. So the question is then, why do I like the M4 Pro Mac Mini? Well, I'm gonna tell you the big reason. It's all to do with the price of this device. It's the reason why I have a big issue with it. Let me explain what I mean here. This Mac Mini right here costs 599 US dollars. Granted, it is the normal M4 inside of this. It's made up of the 10 core CPU and the 10 core GPU. And then we've also got inside of this 256 gigabytes of storage. It's not the biggest amount inside of it, but you know, it's good. You know, it will get you through the day as it were, and you can connect up multiple external hard drives to this. Now with this one that we've got right here, the problem I've got is it costs 1,399 US dollars for the M4 Pro version. And what we're getting inside of that is actually the binned version of the M4 Pro. And we're getting 256 gigabytes more storage. So we're getting 512. And then we're also getting about a third more, well, you know, 50% more RAM inside of it up to 24 gigabytes. And that is it. And yet, this M4 Pro Mac Mini cost over double what we have here with the original Mac Mini. You can actually buy two of these Mac Minis and it's still cheaper than buying the baseline version of this. And then with that, technically speaking, you're gonna actually have a more powerful devices by having two of these. You know, having two M4s is more powerful than the likes of saying, you know, an M4 Pro, if that was possible to stitch them together. We're getting the same amount of storage and yeah, we're gonna get 32 gigabytes of RAM shared between that. And that is where I've got my big problem especially that you can see here that with the scalability on say Apple's website right now, like I said, the 599 US dollars, the second you start tearing this up, it gets quite pricey quite quickly. Obviously Apple is showing here that you can double your storage, then double your RAM, and then they're kind of making you believe that you're getting a really good deal, that you're going for the M4 Pro, and it only costs you just a little bit more here, but really in the grand scheme of things, it isn't. Especially that when you compare it to the likes of say, the MacBook Pro with the M4 to the M4 Pro. What I'm talking about is that the MacBook Pro with the M4 inside of it starts at 1,599 US dollars and that gives you 512 gigabytes of storage and it also gives you 16 gigabytes of RAM and you get the standard M4 but for just $400 more, well, you actually get 24 gigabytes of RAM and you also get the M4 Pro. That's $400 more compared to $800 between both of these Mac Minis we got here. Now, obviously, I know what you're going to say. There were the M4 MacBook Pro comes with 512 gigabytes of storage and so does the M4 Pro MacBook Pro and you're getting 256 gigabytes more. But listen to yourself there. 256 gigabytes of storage. That is nothing in today's age. Go and look on Amazon right now. Look at how much an NVMe drive costs. Well, it's 256 gigabytes of storage in it. It costs nothing. You know, $200 more for an upgrade from 256 gigabytes to 512 gigabytes. That is just insane and ridiculous. And that, you know, we have to pay $800 to actually just sort of give yourself a bit more RAM. And then obviously we're gonna get the M4 Pro and then also we're doubling the amount of storage by not a lot in the grand scheme of things. You know, that's probably, you know, one and a half sort of AAA games if you run it on this properly. It's not a lot of storage in it. And this is where I have my big problem with the M4 Pro Mac Mini. 
But there is one thing where I do not have a big problem with, and that is the giveaway that I'm doing on this channel for this. This here is an iPhone 16 Pro Max, and I'm giving this away to one lucky subscriber on this channel near the end of December time. And in fact, it's not that far away now when I'm gonna be giving this away. It's gonna be before Christmas time in 2024. And what we've got here is the Desert Titanium model, and this has 256 gigabytes of storage inside of it, the same amount of what you've got inside the Mac Mini, funny enough. And I'm going to be giving this away, like I said, to one lucky subscriber. And all you have to do at this stage to enter into this giveaway is just put down into the comments below of what technology that you are planning to get in 2024, or maybe into 2025. Maybe it's going to be a new Mac Mini. Maybe it's going to be a new MacBook Pro. Maybe it's not going to be Apple related at all, like a PS5 Pro or something like this. Let me know in the comments below right now. Now, the other thing I just want to quickly say is that there will be more details about the giveaway come before Christmas. Where I'll be making a video, and in that video, I'll be giving out information with a form to fill into for the giveaway, so do look out for that. And the best thing I could recommend you doing is making sure that you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell, because you won't want to miss out on that video, because it's gonna give those details away, and also when I'm gonna be doing the live stream for the actual giveaway. And plus, you wanna subscribe, because I'm giving it away to a subscriber. The last thing I just wanna quickly say to you guys is sadly, there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonating me too, tending to watch WhatsApp, Telegram, and things like this, and even Instagram direct message. The best thing that you can do with these people, guys, is just ignore them, or better still, please report them, as you can see right here. So going back to my ramble here, and I think you get my point. The M4 Pro Mac Mini, you know, in its power and everything like that, is great. But the price of 1,399 US dollars to me is just not acceptable for what this is, especially if you can pick this up for 599 US dollars. Personally, what I think Apple should be doing is that obviously I can understand the storage upgrade, the 256 to 512, but I would probably be marking it this at 1,099 US dollars. That's the right price I think this should be, especially with that storage sort of, you know, upgrades well to 512 gigabytes. That is what you should be getting with that base amount. Because at the end of the day, like I demonstrated to you here, with the M4 MacBook Pro to the M4 Pro MacBook Pro, look, pros there isn't there you can see that it's more better value for money to actually go down that route if you wanted to than to actually upgrade from a mac mini with an m4 to the m4 pro it just to me makes more sense to do that and i think this is where the big problem lies with this so if anyone at apple is listening i think what you need to do guys is i think you've done a great job here with the mac mini but i do think it should be worth a bit less especially with the pricing that you have between the m4 and the m4 pro inside of the macbook pro right now it just makes more sense to align it a bit better there and i think that you know a lot of people would be buying themselves the m4 pro mac mini for this reason i think there'd be even more sales for it if it was just discounted a bit more couple more few hundred dollars less for it. But those are my thoughts there, guys. What do you think? Do you still think the M4 Pro is definitely a worthy upgrade and paying those extra dollars over the M4? Well, let me know in the comments below. And with that as well, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. Also, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons too, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell too. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.